Hey everyone, I'm Jason. I plan on through hiking the Appalachian Trail starting in mid-March in Georgia and ending up in Maine. Hopefully I'll be done by September or so, but we'll see what happens. This is a gear layout video. Attached in this video I'll have a link to my lighter pack site for any additional information on the gear. If you want to play this video fast, you can play it at one and a half or two times speed. Without further ado, the backpack that I'm going to use is a Z-Pack. It's the ArcZip 57 liter. I've attached some shock cord that I picked up to be able to hold extra things on it. I have a Z-Pack bag cover that I've attached. I have a little Z-Pack zip wallet as well as an inside attachment for one of the main pockets. I've attached some sunscreen and a bear bell. It has a, two hip pockets and I've attached a fanny pack or a bag that will go in front of my waist that clips into the belt. I do have an ultralight umbrella and I have an umbrella holder, but it seems to be pretty flimsy. So I've used some additional tape and some zip ties to hopefully keep the umbrella attached to the shoulder strap bag. I'll use a liner. It's the z -Pack's airplane case sold from z -Pack. It's made out of Dyneema and should help keep things drier on the inside. Also attached to my bag, I have a small Swiss Army knife. It's pretty small. And here it has some scissors, a file, and a little blade, tweezers, and a pick. For my shelter, I'll use a Z-Pack Plexamid tent. It's salter light. It does use one trekking pole. And then I do have a ground sheet that matches the same exact shape from Z-Pack. It does take one trekking pole and it's a one person tent. So this is the tent inside it, it has the stake poles. Inside the bag here, I also keep an ultralight Eros pillow. I had the ultralight Eros pillow that was a large one, but it was just a little too big. So I got a smaller, lighter one and I keep that inside this bag. For additional sleep system stuff, system I have the Neo Air Extra Light sleeping pad. It has an R value of 4.2 and when blown up it's two inches thick. I took the bag out of it to just tie it together with some shock cord to save a little bit of weight and this gray piece is one of the bags that I can use to blow up the mattress a little bit faster. So that's how I'll carry this in my bag. These are the poles that I'll be using. I only need one for the shelter, but I'll hike with both of them. They are carbon fire foam grip. The sleeping bag that I have, it's a 20 degree bag. And I keep it in a Z-Pack medium bag. I figure this will help keep the bag drier. The last thing I want is my sleeping bag getting wet. So that little bag is lighter than the uh, sleeping bag container or holder that I came with it. So again, a 20 degree 850 down bag and it's a Marmont Face 30 sleeping bag. It's a 30 degree bag with 850 power fill down. I start in mid-March so I imagine I'll be cold up there in the 20 degree bag. I'll still probably be cold so I have some other stuff that will help keep me long when I sleep I hope. For the water filtration I'll have two smart water bottles that are one liter and I'll use a 0.7 liter bottle as well. I'll use a dirty bottle that's a liter and then have 1.7 clean as well. I also have another and that other one liter bottle is a Katahdin Be Free and it has a built-in filter. The filter that I'll use is a Sawyer Mini but I plan to keep that one dry and not use it as a in case it freezes in the early months, I'll start with a Katahdin and then use the Sawyer if needed. So this is the Katahdin Be Free. It folds up, it's super light, and it has a filter that's built in here. The Sawyer Mini, I have tons of these. This one I've used, it has a 
syringe for back flushing. And then it attaches to the smart water bottles. I have the Z-Pack bag. Inside here is about four to five days worth of food. I have the bag for throwing it with the line inside. And I keep my long Sea to Summit Alpha Spoon. It's an ultralight one. For my stove, it's the MSR Pocket Rocket 2. I'm sure everyone's seen lots of videos on these, so I don't need to take it out. I have um, several towels that are like this from z -Pack. I'll only keep one with me and use it to wipe down my pot to keep it clean and dry. For my pot, it's a 0.6 liter. It's titanium. And it's ultralight. It's a ever new. I also have a odor bag or an odor resistant bag that I'll keep my food inside the bear bag. So in theory, this will make it harder for animals to smell the food. I have a few extra ones that can be mailed to me if needed. And then several fuel cans. I'll only bring one and get re or get new ones along the way as needed. And I have um, two big mini lighters. One I'll keep with my food system and one I'll keep on my hip, my hip belt. And then the last part of my food system, it's a pot cozy or to keep my food warmer. So I'll boil the water and then pour it into the bags and put the bags in here. Also, I can fit my whole pot in here with the cover and let something like ramen noodles continue to cook once it's removed from the fire source. So this is made of neoprene. These Solomon trail runners. I have one set of these. I've worn them for maybe maybe 50 to 60 miles, maybe, maybe even 100. And they're not worn at all, or not worn on the bottoms. So I really like these. And they're the X-Ultra Solomon. I don't think they're for sale anymore. I tried to get three more pair, but I couldn't get them. But I was able to get three more additional pairs of Solomons that are very similar, and I've broken them all in, and they'll be ready to be mailed to me as I need them. They aren't super light. Um, they're actually the ones that I'm wearing right now. So they go all the way down. They have a drawstring in the front. They have two main pockets, and they do have one back pocket. And hopefully they'll help keep me a little bit warmer to start the trail. I also have a Columbia button-down shirt. It's upstairs. I'll see if I can add it and insert it in here. Patagonia cool t-shirt. I'll wear this primarily. Another bluish t-shirt. It's a Russell t-shirt. Moisture wicking and that I'll rotate it through. For socks, I prefer the Darn Tough. I have several, but I'll go in with two pair and rotate them out and have additional ones mailed to me. Indian. So I'll have the REI liners that are um, regular liners and then I have the Indian liners as well. I have a pair of Reebok running shorts that I've had forever. So I'll bring these and wear them as needed when it gets warmer. I have a Z-Pack gator neck. And then since I'm a little bit concerned about the cold to start, I have awesome gloves that I can use for sleeping. I have thick possum socks. They're way a little over three ounces, only for sleeping. I've also ordered the Z-Pack booties for sleeping, so I'm unsure exactly what I'll bring with me, but I'll have options. I'll only bring one or the other. I'm leaning towards the, the down socks from Z-Pack. I have a lightweight silk type top and bottom. So these are full length bottoms and long sleeve shirt. So primarily for sleeping, that should help me keep me warm or I can wear them as for hiking as well. And then if it does get super cold, I have what I call a grid liner. So I have, it's a three quarter zip. It's a top and essentially it's for cold weather. So I can wear this and use all the layers together. And they have a matching pair of bottoms too. So probably only need these for the first month and then I'll mail them back home. But I'd rather 
not freeze myself off in March, April up in the mountains. And then I have a, I think this is a large or a big Z pack bag for my cold weather gear. My favorite coat ever. It's an A50 Down Puffy. I have an 850 Down Puffy. It's Azturk, black. I wear this all the time in winter up in New Hampshire and I love it. I also have some Reflex glove liners that I can wear as well. In theory, they're supposed to reflect your body heat back inside and they do notice it'll be warm up my hands when I wear them. And then I have a green fleece knit cap. Perfect up in New Hampshire in the cold. So and then wing is the I'm unsure which hat I'll wear. I'll either wear this cap I like wearing caps a lot better, so I'm leaning towards bringing this. And then the other one is much better for the sun. But it just isn't me, so I think I'll go with the cap, but I'm still debating. I have some mechanic gloves that are just over two ounces. I'm toying with bringing these and just having them on the outside of my bag to essentially protect my hands in some of the hiking conditions. So I think, I think I'll bring these, and if not, I'll just put them in a bounce box or mail them back. For rain gear, I have the ultralight Z-Pack umbrella. I'll have this on the outside of my bag. You can also use it for the shade. It's super lightweight. I have the Vertice rain mitts from Z-Packs, as well as the ankle gaiters, the Vert the Vertice gaiters as well for ankle gaiters. The Vertice pants, the rain pants from z -Packs. And then for the raincoat, I wanted a different color and something a little bit different. So I went with the Monobel Versalite jacket. So it's super light and breathable. I really like the color. And I think this will work great for me. This also has a hood as well as my puffy jacket has a hood. So I think that's most of the clothes that I'll bring with me. Um, the clothing is going to be a little heavier than I want with that extra cold weather gear, but I'd rather have it than not have it. One of the things that I'll try to always keep with me for safety, I made a lanyard out of some 550 cord or paracord, and on it is a very small um, Gerber knife. I'll keep this on my neck. It has a little fire starter that I can use. And then built into the fire starter is a whistle. Also here I have a thermometer and a compass. So if I get separated from all my gear and have this, it should help um, me until I get back on the trail or get some help. Um, for camp shoes around the camp, I tried a few different things. I've tried some knockoff Crocs. I haven't tried real Crocs, but I just don't like the way they look. So I ended up going with these. They're about 10 ounces or so. Um, you can look up the exact weight in the description, but they're zero sandals. What I like about them, I can wear socks around camp. Obviously I'm not going to wear sandals and socks in town because I'd make fun of myself if I did that. And again, these camp shoes are the zero C travel EB sandals. They're from what I think about 10.8 ounces or so. You can see. So I have a ultralight headlamp from Pretzel. Um, obviously I'm using my phone right now for the video. I'll bring two battery banks with me. One is a 20,000 and one is a 10,000. So I figure that should be enough power to get me to what I need to do before I can be charged in town. So the first one, it's a Anchor Charger 20,000 PD and it has 18 watts. The other one is 10,000 megaamp hours and that's is a Xander. So I can charge both of them at the same time and plugs right into the wall. And here are the two cables that go with charging the power banks. A longer phone charger. And then I have a Garmin Mini, or Garmin Enrich Mini, and the power cord. 
So with the two white chargers, I can charge all my devices simultaneously. I haven't started this subscription on the Garmin yet, but I will in the next month or so before my hike. The last piece of electronics is a Dollar General or Family Dollar Special. This regular um, headphones. I like the wireless ones, but I just don't want to charge them out there. I'll use the AT Guide. It's the 2020 version. I've broken it down to roughly 500 mile sections, so I only carry 500 at the same time. And then I have a little journal that I have with waterproof paper in there. And then if I need more pages, I have extra pages just like that to journal. Some crossword puzzles and Sudoku puzzles that are in the little plastic Ziploc bag. I've made a bunch of these that can be mailed to me. So rather than carry a whole bunch of them, I'll just have enough to keep me busy or keep my mind occupied in the downtime in a tent. And then these are the extra parts of the book that will be mailed to me. A bug net for when the flies and mosquitoes come. A small z pack dry bag and another medium one. Inside here is all sorts of miscellaneous things. It's a 1.9 inch cork ball to roll out your muscles or your feet or your back. Some toilet paper and powder. Some, some medicine type pills or ibuprofen, Tylenol, allergy pills. So I've just put it in a container like this so bus people will know what's in it. Uh, mosquito wipes, uh, their dental floss, chapstick, some bandages, uh, tube of toothpaste. I found out that the small tubes of toothpaste will work for about 10 days or so. And then I will keep a razor with me. So I've been shaving my whole life and I imagine it'll be hard to change. Um, some extra shock cord and cordage type things. I've also made or some clips that I could use to dry my clothes with. They're made out of um, the little clips that you use to close up bags of bread. So I have a few of those that can um, easily help dry out my clothes. More toilet paper. I'll only need one of the toothpaste tubes at a time and that's good for about 10, at least 10 days. And then an ultralight toothbrush is in here as well. I have a little fire starter kit. So what I did, I used an old vitamin bottle and I filled it up with cotton swabs or cotton balls and then have Vaseline in there too. So I'll pull out a cotton ball and it will start with just a spark. I have some Luco tape. I won't bring the whole roll, um, but what I'll do, I'll cut strips down and put it on mailing labels, that um, waxy type material. So it will peel off pretty quick. Um, should help minimize blisters or prevent blisters or if I get them, help treat them. Um, about seven to ten wet wipes are in one of these baggies and um, sew kit repair kit and extra small batteries for the headlamp. Uh, number two trial. Uh, another repair kit for my air mattress. And then I have a few little containers like this that screw closed. So one's a little bit smaller than this. I figured I might put sunscreen in there or maybe some type of soap, but I was looking for something that will twist close rather than snap. So I have a few options there too. So in all, um, with my bag fully loaded with uh, two liters of water and about four to five days of food, it still comes in under 35 pounds and the bag is rated for 35 pounds. So I'll pack it all up and then weigh it just to see again. But this is initially what I think I'll be going in with. For if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching and hope you got at least one or two good ideas from the video. Until next time, thanks for watching.